All right, we're gonna combine our product rule, our quotient rule, and our power rule, and we're gonna start um, kind of really getting into what we're supposed to be doing. Um, remember, it looks like I got a quotient rule here, so this is gonna, gonna be a log something of this minus log something of the denominator. So let me go ahead and rewrite that. It looks like my base is four. Uh, let me let me get a little little Okay, so there I am there I am I'm gonna rewrite this I'm gonna go uh, to the one-third power, right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use my power rule right here, and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it out in front. Okay, and I'm gonna do it in another color. Um, now check this part out. Look at wa watch this. I've got actually. A, uh, a, a product here as well, don't I? I have a 16 times x to the fourth. And I've got a power, yes I do, but let's let's go ahead and let's do the uh, product rule first. Or, yeah, yeah, our product. But, we gotta parenthesize this, this dude, okay? We can't just, you know, do anything with it. So we'll get a log four of 16 plus log four of x to the fourth okay so you see how we did that okay I'm gonna go back to red and then we're gonna go one third log four of x just rewriting what I already did um minus log four of 16 that's four to the what equals 16 well that's two four squared is 16 Plus, I'm going to use that power rule. I'm just going to take the 4 and stick it out in front. 4. That gives me 4 times log 4 of x. Now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, algebra. Just uh, back to your, remember the negative sign. It's kind of like a negative 1. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to distribute that in, in there. Just like that. Okay. And now I got minus two because I distributed the negative sign, then minus four. Okay, and that is just about, that's gonna just about do it. Okay, right there, all right. Practice makes perfect, so we're going to practice. And if you're going on to the next math class, um, you want to really, um, you really want to get, get this stuff. Um, you really want to start rocking and rolling here, okay? You really want to get this stuff in your head pretty good. Okay, let's go, and let's go. If you're not going to the next math class, because it's your last math class, you might not have to pay as much attention. If you're not going to the next math class because you need college algebra over again, you probably want to pay attention. Okay, um, log B times this stuff. Um, you know, I see here, this is a quotient, it's a fraction. Uh, so I'm immediately. I want to just go ahead and just rewrite it as the quotient rule tells me I can, which is this. You know, I just went 
the numerator, log of the numerator minus log of the denominator. And it looks like we got a product and a power rule little ensemble going on here. So um, if I just if I look in here, I'm gonna want to uh, go ahead and rewrite that. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do log of b x squared plus log b of y. And it looks like over here, I'm going to end up using that power rule again. That's all I'm going to do over here. I'm just going to stick it back in front. Minus 2 log b of the variable z. And I'm also going to do it over here. Okay, just kind of put that over there. So, I'm going to simplify this a little more. And this is going to be 2 log b of x plus log of y minus log ooh, ooh, of z. Now here's where your cat skinning starts taking place. You know, th this is a correct answer, but if you go into the back of the book, you might find that they have done some grouping and rearranged some of the, some of the terms. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take our, our, our uh, terms with the uh, twos in them and stick them together. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to factor out the two. Okay, I'm just going to pull the two out of this section and that's going to cause this whole thing to look like this. Okay, there you go. That's what, you know, you might see. Now, both of the, these answers are completely valid, um, but sometimes, I mean, you know, it just depends on, you know, what your professor likes or teacher, you know. I've had some really laid back ones that are like, all right, it looks like they did it right, you know, and then I've had some that are like, you, you, you're, you know, I would have got wrong. She would have been like, that looks like bog, you know, which, yeah, like I'm taking bog rhythms. <laughs> so, but that's, that's that. And it looks like I got about two minutes left. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to try another one. I'm going to try another one. What is this? This one looks kind of cool. This is log of root 3x over y. Okay. That's what that one is. So immediately, I want to write this in Okay. Um well, what do you do here? We got a couple different options and it looks like I might have got myself in trouble trying to squeeze another problem in. So I I'm just going to go ahead and use the power rule immediately. Okay. And since I use the power rule immediately, whatever I do here is going to be a little bit separate. And that's going to end up being log of x minus log of y. Right there. So I, it turns out I didn't get myself in trouble. Everything was okay. Um, yeah, so there we go right there. And th these were base 10 logs. If, if it's not written there, it's assumed to be base 10. So let's try it a different way. Let's say we went log x to the one third over I'll tell you what, in the next video, I'm going to try this a different way, okay? And see if we get the same answer, all right? See you then.